So I'm um, pretty pumped on how the coilers, the coilovers went on pretty smooth. Um, we didn't snap any bolts, which is a good sign. And what's it called? Wheels go on. I don't rub whatsoever. So just pretty much just going to enjoy this car, just driving it and just wait until I get it, get ready for tune. I still got to see what ECU I have. Um, pretty much, I think it's an MS45, but I just want to double check just to make sure before I buy a tune from RK and but other than that I mean I'm, I'm pretty stoked on how it's coming out so far I remember like seeing this car I bought it and it was just like completely like a piece of shit it still is but it's not as but it's not at all anymore after you know we brought this car back to life we replaced all the leaks that we were having around the motor and we cleaned it out we paint the bay it was awesome so like a lot of progress has has improved go back a few steps to fix some some mistakes that we had to correct and you know um and then work our way up again you know to get to where we are right now and so i'm pretty pumped on the uh steering wheel you know for this that i installed this is just until then i can like once i get near going to the track i just didn't want to have that granny uh steering wheel on it the stock one anymore so unless the horn doesn't work so i gotta wire the horn soon with kyle um we're probably just gonna wire it either through here or it's probably just installed button somewhere here but um we'll see could you have hear me pulling up yeah but really that's sick oh yeah That came out pretty clean. It took forever though. Almost, but just a few more touches. Yeah, we just need to get um, need to get the smaller uh, air wheel like so we can get some of that stuff off. Yeah. Some other stuff, and then I gotta we gotta go to the store so I can get some sandpaper. I think maybe some like 200 grit or something, right. so we can sand all these scratches out. Yeah, yeah. Like we. We're gonna do that after we put the filler on because the filler wants the scratches. The more scratches, the better. Come on, really clean. Once everything's sanded down and smooth, any exposed metal needs to be sanded down because those scratches are kind of deep. Hell yeah. We're doing good though. 100%. A lot to do. Lord. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna seam seal this all the yeah, way around. Too. Because that'll probably move a lot. We're gonna try and fiberglass all this in. Hopefully. So you think if I go outside, I get knocked out? No, but I want to see what the pieces are, bro. They're like, I want to see blue. Yeah. Let's take a look. Holy hell. Ice, right? Yeah. You hear it? Hit the ground? Yeah. Dude, I hope my windshield didn't crack too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So it's the next day. It rained on us pretty bad last night. Um, it was hailing a lot. So pretty much we just took a pause on it, just stayed inside honestly and built the tent up later on in the day when it stopped raining. And it was like around like five o'clock and it was already getting late. It was starting to get cold. So we just finished up building a tent uh, with Kyle and you know, just 
finish that up and today we're gonna go um, actually do some work on the on this engine bay you know continue shaving and finishing up on on that process and just you know get it ready for at least a fiberglass and then later on for paint I'm gonna open it um oh, you want yeah it doesn't really matter right no it looks dry yeah I don't see any like any more rust than there was before. Alright. That's cool. Bit. Did you see how the rust came off with the grinder? Yeah. Came with the grinder a little bit over here. Oh, it, oh and shit. And it's smooth. We just need a wire wheel up. Once yeah. you wire wheel it, it'll be better than, better than nothing. Yeah. You also got like... You know about the other care under here, right? Yeah. Ready to go. Are you ready to go? I just don't want anything to get in there. Absolutely not. So, so I think we should get like a plastic bag, cover it over, it. Yeah. poke a little hole, put the spout through. You know what I mean? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to go get that. Yeah, <laughs> that's an A plus right there. Look at that dude, that shit works like a ton. Oh yeah. That came out. I took out the rust too bro. Oh my god. I might do one more on that right there. Oh but... wow, that cleaned up pretty nice. Just cause this we got this rust and then probably I'll do like I don't know. Yeah. Right, that doesn't do too much. Again. I was gonna try and get in there a little bit. Yeah, you gotta kind of be careful of just that. Just cause. Just cause of the thread. Oh, this, yeah, I can take out. Like, no problem. That's why I like it. It just fucking pops out just like that. Yeah, that's, no, bro. I can't even imagine what this is gonna look like all black. Pretty good. I'm about to go get my phone right now. Did I even bring anything? Oh, yeah. I 
Honestly, you know. put a little more spring action on this. Oh, I know. It's you got pretty... yourself a fucking BB gun right there. I mean, you gotta watch your eyes for <laughs> sure, because they're blowing eye out. That's good. <laughs> I don't even know why it's up there, but. For reference, any other time you reference, mix. Reference, reference. And we have this on the on my van wall too. And also, look, reference. reference. Whenever we'll you send. need help, just send it. Oh yeah. That was a little love note. Bullshit love note thing. I think it's fine.